Our questions which I'm sometimes asked is, I mean, if we develop um, AI systems or ADI systems, um, do we understand them or do we need to understand them? Um, and it has been phrased as, you know, understanding, <laughs> understanding. Um, so um, what does understand, I mean, we can ask first the question, what does understanding mean? Yeah, and um, again, philosophers has, have discussed that um, for centuries. Um, and in the AI community, it's also discussed because we want an agent to understand itself or we want to understand the agent. Um, I think I have a rather um, simple view of understanding that understanding is essentially synonymous to compression. If I can, um, I mean, to motivate it, you know, if I see a piece of data and, um, you know, I see a pattern in it, then I can describe, look, you know, there have been, you know, um, alternating um, ones and zeros. Um, there have been, you know, this is a um, digits of pi or, you know, there's a tree. And um, so uh, if we can um, build a model of our data, yeah, um, which, as I explained before, um, is the same as being able to compress the data, um, then we definitely have understood something. The question is whether understanding is more than just modeling and compression, or whether it's the same. And I believe it is the same. Um, I mean, to which degree have we understood um, um, uh, quantum mechanics yeah, or um, atoms or so? Well, we have these models, right, which work quite well. Um, and so we have understood something. Um, and I think that's all there to say. If we have a model which works well or describes our data, um, then we have understood it. And I don't believe there's anything more to understanding than this. And all this discussion about you know, maybe there's something deeper to understanding, um, I have the feeling will not succeed. Um, so if you look at current data compressors, um, I wouldn't claim, you know, that they're intelligent or even or super intelligent, yeah? but they do something, right? As I said before, um, there's a close relation between, you know, compressing data, predicting data, um, and um, understanding um, and, uh, and intelligent um, ultimately. Um, so the question is, um, are current data compressors in any way intelligent? Um, they're definitely not super intelligent um, so far. But if you look at what they're doing, right, um, you know, if you take very simple things like, you know, Lempel um, SIF coding invented, I think, in the 70s, or run length coding, um, you know, they, they look into the data and they um, come up with a more compact representation. So they have sort of, in a sense, understood something. Um, if you look at more modern data compressors, um, I always, you know, take the CTW because um, it has nice theoretical features, a context rewaiting algorithm, um, and, and it's a pretty good compressor. Um, it does a Bayesian modeling. Um, um, it's sort of a Markov modeling of your source, and sort of it understands, in this sense, you know, that um, certain, if we apply it on a word basis, usually it's applied on a bit or byte basis, but if you apply it on a word basis, it understands which words are more likely to follow other words. So, for instance, you know, if... Um, I have the sentence, you know, run from the um, or drink from the and assume the only choice is cup or cop, right? You know, then usually, I mean, <laughs> some people run from the cops, yeah, um, but you usually don't run from, from a cup, right? And vice versa. Um, so, and um, these systems are able to predict, you know, that um, run from the is more likely followed by cop rather than cup and drink from the, um, the reverse. So, did it understand the English sentence or not? Yeah. Most likely on this level, it um, you wouldn't regard it as understanding. But um, ultimately, if you compare what humans do, um, we can also ask the questions: Did we really understand what is going on, or do we just do also some simple processing? And I mean, boils down back to the question: What does understanding and real understanding mean? So. I think these um, data compressors, even current ones, understand the data to you know, some degree. Um, um, 
I wouldn't call them intelligent yet because they are rather primitive, right? But if you develop more sophisticated data compressors, which sort of um, iteratively go through the data, try to fit various models, which um, say um, modern data compressors like SIP or so, which is often an ensemble of different compressors and different compression techniques are tried and then the best one is chosen. Um, I think understanding comes in degrees and intelligence comes in degrees. And um, the question is, how do we measure intelligence? Um, um, we have come up with a definition of intelligence, which is completely formal. Um, so um, if you only consider prediction, um, you can use a compression test um, and can regard it as sort of an intelligent test. So even Shannon already in the, in the 40s, he asked humans to predict um, um, in, in natural text uh, the next um, letters and um, he got some um, a compression ratio out of it. And um, current data compressors are lacking a little bit behind, but are getting closer and closer. So in the sense of being able to predict um, a text, compressors are getting close to what humans can do on average. Um, so in this sense, they may have understood the text as well as humans. And there is a mismatch, you know, um, the, the computer or the programs um, are very, you know, precise and can get the probabilities right and humans are very lousy at it. On the other hand, humans are very good at um, what people call the real understanding, the semantic me uh, the meaning of this text, right? They are better there and current data compressors lack, yeah? so it's really an average. Um, but, yeah, we are achieving human level compression. Um, nearly already. If you look at um, modern data compressors, most are actually um, probabilistic predictors, <coughs> which predict the next symbol. And then there's a standard technique called arithmetic coding or Shannon-Fano coding, which converts prediction into um, compressors. And the better you can predict the next symbol, um, the, small, the smaller will be the compressed file size. So. Um, so this translation between compression and prediction is completely mechanical um, and, and, and very easy to do. So if I talk about being able to compress well, can be directly translated in being able to predict well, and indeed the compressors work in the way that they predict, and then you use it for compression. So if we are able to compress as well as humans, we are able to predict as well as humans, so we can use these compressors for predicting text, and as I said before, the errors humans make are very different from the errors um, data compressors make currently. But on average, we nearly have the same performance already, um, which is quite interesting. So if we you know, predict you know, some local patterns, yeah, we, 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 um, we surpass humans. If we predict you know, um, some, some more large scale feature of a sentence or an abstract, yeah, then we are inferior to humans.